Okay. It's February 2nd, 2024, 12.01 p.m. I really don't know who's going to see this, but mainly I'm just posting this as accountability to myself that I'm going to chase my dreams this year, and by this time next year, my life will look completely different. My name's Jimmy. I just recently joined Tom Nosk's Time to Build Cohort, and part of the homework for the first week is to introduce yourself and to share your giant, unreasonable goals, which, to be honest, I was just going to type this all out in a paragraph, but I figured it would be better to have almost like a video journal that I could look back on, hopefully this time next year, and be like, wow, I can't believe that it actually happened. I can't believe I, I chased my dreams for a full year year. I run a specialty coffee content page that goes by Jimmy the Barista, and I basically talk about all things coffee, but the, the goal and the focus really for me is to highlight people. I think people is the part of the industry that makes it special. I think too many people think about coffee as just that crappy drink that you get at like a cheap hotel or that you use to give you like a one hour boost of energy, but there is so much beauty and culture and life to the specialty coffee industry that I want to be able to highlight. So I want to share people's stories. I want to tell stories. I want to connect people, educate people. I started my page in 2020 and I'm going real deep here, but honestly, it came from a place of being disappointed in myself. Um, yeah, being disappointed in like thinking that I should have been further along in my life by that point. And I was 25 um, at the, the start of the lockdown. And so I just thought to myself, I, th I thought I would have made it by now. Like I thought I would have achieved my dreams and my goals and the things that I wanted to do. And it's not that I was unhappy at my job or anything like that. Like I liked what I was doing, but I just, I didn't feel satisfied in terms of like what I craved as a dream. So during lockdown, I decide I'm going to start a coffee page because it's the thing that I really enjoy talking about, but I don't know anything about cameras, photos, video, editing. And I literally, I just, I hopped on Skillshare, started learning YouTube University, following my favorite creators and just tried to mimic and, and learn as much as possible. Then as kind of like homework to myself, I posted my first ever YouTube video and that one actually did really well. And I got like 300 subscribers off of it. Although it's like not at all the style of video Video I want to do. It gave me a lot of confidence. And then with my Instagram page, I just started posting pictures with captions because that's all it was at the time. And I grew my following to about a thousand followers. So then at the start of 2021, my wife and I were able to put a down payment on home, which was really amazing. And that was a huge project in and of itself because it was a fixer upper. And then in the fall of 2021, my wife and I got pregnant, but then a few weeks later had a miscarriage. And that just that destroyed me. That like any motivation that I had for doing like my creative work, um, I just put it on the back burner, did my job because that's what was paying the bills. Um, but I couldn't think about anything else. And I just decided like, this is my time to focus on my wife, my own joy, finding peace and uh, doing the things that, that fulfill me and don't take energy out of me. And at that time, I think I only had like two, 3,000 followers, and I felt like I was just chasing the follow count, and so it was just like way too draining to do social media. Fast forward to the summer of 2022, and I decide, you know what, I'm gonna start posting again, and I'm just gonna do it for me, try to, try to have no pressure on it, and I actually get my first ever client, and I'm like, what? Like somebody wants to pay me to talk about their product? It was, it was the coolest thing in the world, and obviously gave me a massive boost of confidence. So I started posting, I made a paycheck or to just off of different brand deals at this time. I think I'm a little closer to like 5,000 followers. It's, it's a really slow growth, but feeling this newfound confidence, I was like, I need to do this full time. Like I need to just fully dive in on myself, bet on myself, trust myself and say like, Jimmy, you you can do this, dang it. Like you you can freaking crush this and you just need to take like a step out into it. So in February of 2023, I decide I'm gonna quit my job and I'm gonna go full time with content creating and social media. And I kid you not, literally the day that I tell my job that I'm quitting, my wife and I find out that we are pregnant, which was amazing. But then also I'm like, what is the timing of this? Like, what did I just do? Should I even quit my job? Is this a sign that this is not the right time to do this? But I remember telling my wife at one point that if and when we have kids, if I'm still doing the job that I'm doing by the time they're grown up and this is what they know me as, honestly, I'll, I'll feel disappointed in myself that I didn't take 
the plunge, that I didn't take the risk. So I decided to go all in and give it 110%. And what that meant like for me at the time was being a videographer and pitching myself to brands. But truthfully, that's not what I wanted to do. But my following was small. It was like five, 6,000, barely growing at the time. And I tried to tell myself, it's fine, it's fine, it'll happen when it happens. But after months and years of that slow growth, it's really defeating, you know? Anyways, fast forward to September of 23, right before my daughter's born, I decide I'm gonna post one final piece of content before I inevitably take a break. And that's the video that goes absolutely viral. And I go from having like 7,000 followers to gaining like 10, 15,000 followers in the course of like a week. In a sense, it was a relief because I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I made it. But then on the other side, I was like, so what do I do now? Also, the video that went viral isn't what I want to be doing. I just kind of did it and that's what the algorithm chose. But I took the next few months to just focus on being a good dad and being a good husband, trying to learn and research as much as I could about building a business and a brand. I've posted maybe five or six times since my daughter was born. And as of this point in 2024, I'm at about 23,000 followers on Instagram, one and a half subscribers on YouTube and like 2000 followers on TikTok, which I guess is the perfect segue for my giant unreasonable goals. Side note, I hate talking about myself, especially in terms of numbers, because I, I don't know, I feel like I come across as a jerk or pretentious, and that's just like not at all what I want to do. So I get really uncomfortable talking about numbers and follow count and stuff like that. But I just, I want to speak this out into existence because I feel like if I just say it, I'm at least committing it and then hopefully just speaking it out into the world and believing that it's going to happen. So I have six big goals that I've written down. Number one, make $100,000 of income. Number two, hit 100,000 followers on IG. Number three, hit 10,000 subs on YouTube. Number four, travel to five different countries. Number five, go to an F1 race, because I love F1. And number six, run a marathon. So how do I plan on achieving these goals? And just so you know, the how is probably the scariest part. Number one, I'm gonna create and launch products and services that I'm passionate about because honestly, I hate working as a freelancer and my dream is to be a self-sustaining business. Number two and three, post 1,000 pieces of content across all platforms, whether that's on threads or YouTube shorts or reels or long form YouTube videos, podcasts. Number four, buy plane tickets and create opportunities in other countries. Number five, I don't know, become friends with Charles Leclerc. And number six, start a marathon training plan. So yeah, today is the marker. It's the shifting of the tides. It's the commitment that I need to myself that I'm gonna chase this, I'm gonna pursue this, I'm gonna do everything that I can to become the best version of myself and hopefully achieve these goals by 2025. So if my story resonates with you at all and you choose to follow along with my journey, then thank you. It means so much to me. You have absolutely no idea. And if you decide that this is something that you want to do with your life as well in 2024, well, then let's do it together. Let's hold each other accountable and let's make 2024 the best year of our lives. Thanks for listening. Okay. Love you. Bye.